Hey folks, Joseph Isabora here, and I'm going to do my Black Friday shopping right about now. I'm actually here at Target for Black Friday, and I'm actually going to get something that I was really excited for for a while now. In fact, I'm actually going to get Stranger Things. Blu-ray and DVD combo pack for ten dollars because they have it on sale. Since um, they got released uh, a few weeks ago, it was at twenty-four ninety-nine. So, and hopefully, I might be able to get something along with it if, if I get a chance. So, so here we go. There's like a huge line around everywhere. So. It's going to open at 6 p.m. and we'll be on our way. Yeah, we even brought our dogs along for the ride. <laughs> and boy, this is going to be such a huge crowd once we get there. Okay, so the line had started, so we're going to rush all the way in to get what we want. Yeah. So I'm well, they're doing the one at a time thing. Oh my God. Yeah. We're getting there. I know. Well, we gotta get all the way. Line starts here. Oh man. Oh boy. I'm in a narrow line here. Oh Jesus. This is crazy. I'm on a trip. God damn. I know how I feel. So we're narrow. Narrow. Oh, it's pink. Okay, go ahead. Where's sir? So, <laughs> we're rushing up, we're going inside to Target, or Target. So, here we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've got to get a card. <sighs> get a cart. And we're going to be on our way. And we're bringing the animals too. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're running as fast as we can. We're getting so close. Oh my god. We gotta try to find all the stuff that we need. I just pray to God that it doesn't get sold out. Because I really want to get it so bad. So. We have to go all the way to the elevator, so we can get there before we don't get uh, crushed in there. Oh, they got Snoopy here too. Hey, let me see. Whoa, cozy sleep set. That's nice. Look at these crazy dogs going around being crazy as usual. Yeah, because. They're saying themselves, I want to get out. I'm so crushed now. Okay, now we're going to be at the electronics section somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is that word? Okay, okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I gotta search for it. Where's, where's Stranger Things? Oh, this is gonna be good. Where's Stranger Things? Please tell me. Okay, yes. You at the entrance? Yes. Okay. By the entrance over there, right? Alright. Please. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Please tell me. 
Oh, it's on the second floor. Oh no, okay. It's well, the floor. so it's on the second floor. Yeah, okay. Down. Okay. okay. There's the Nintendo Switch right there. Okay, it's right there. I gotta get there. As long as I don't, I don't hurt myself. Okay. Oh, oh God. Yes, I gotta go down. Yes, I finally got it. Stranger Fanes. Only a Target. Season 1, Collector's Edition. Includes 4 disc Blu-ray, DVD set, and collectible poster. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm holding this on the palm of my hand. This looks amazing. I got tons of good titles here. Plus we also got some Christmas DVDs. For nine dollars, well six dollars actually. <laughs> yeah, it's just for some nine dollar Blu-rays and DVDs. Just mostly just all these other kinds. Some holidays like Rudolph, Christmas Story, Elf, Grinch, Frosty. It's a Wonderful Life. Art for Christmas. Curious George, yeah, you name it. So all the Blu-rays are in this bag, and I'm going to show it to you later. Now we're at Best Buy in Burbank, California. So we'll just try to see if we can find some more movies. Oh, look at this line. Oh, this is getting insane here. Well, let's see what I'm looking for. Look at all these deals. Movies, Black Friday deals, four nine nine and up. They got Split. They got The Great Wall, Jason Bourne, and Krampus. But they're all DVDs. And then they got this garbage. Sorry, excuse me, sir. Okay. Thank you. And they got some other stuff. They got some more garbage or some good ones. And then there's this garbage. Do you really want that control? What I'd like to do with this piece of shit? I mean I That's what I like to do with it. But here's the 4K Ultra HD of the Taliban Christmas. Actually it looks really good. Wow. <laughs> Got some good special features. And all this other stuff. Cars free. Our man homecoming. Which I already got. Post music. It's a steel book of Chevy with National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. Oh, there's even a Central Holiday collection. Put all these four movies together. And Look at all these titles they got here. They're working out. It out. We have uh, what's the DVD. Point the Lola. <laughs> the happening. Yeah. What's happening about that? Sons of the Galaxy. Godzilla. For the love of the game. Yes, yeah, so 799 for that. Some Home Alone. 4K remastered. Along with Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. 25th anniversary. Or it's the same transfer. Yeah, a lot of Iron Man's, IP Man, Trilogy, Blue Collection. For only $14.99. Yeah. Okay. They also got Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> For only $14.99. Not bad. Yeah, Last Dragon. Of their own, Tarzan, 
Psycho, the original Psycho, and a steel book. It's not the right price though, but yeah, Manhunter, which I already got. Magnificent Seven, the remake. Martian. Yeah, it's a lot of titles. And of course, it. Yes, the 1990 miniseries, as we all know. This is the 4K remastered of Get Out. But how much does that cost? I think it might cost a little more. And wow, what a collection. Ben Affleck 4 film collection, which has all four of his good movies. The Town, Argo, The Accountant, and Live by Night. <laughs> so if you're a big fan of Ben Affleck, then this is the one for you. Except it only costs $49.99. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not worth it. Maybe when it goes down, it will. The Dark Knight Trilogy, all three of these movies, are only $24.99, which is not bad. In the price. And there's the Kingsman, the Secret Service, premium edition. It's really good. It has all the good stuff here. Yes, a lot of good stuff. Uh, how much does that cost? I don't know because it doesn't say on any of these sections, but I'll find out. So I just got out of Black Friday shopping. I went to Target as well as Best Buy and I also went to Walmart as well but I went to Walmart mostly for some PJ's and as well as a popcorn tin can of Frozen <laughs> and also I, we also got uh, the Nintendo Switch for my sister Eileen and she actually had a wonderful time playing the game Super Mario Odyssey and she's really happy that she finally got it and she got that at Target so so far so good it works no problems no nothing so I'm happy for that but anyway I got more movies on Blu-ray however I wish I had bought plenty of the other ones I've been wanting to get for a while but most of them have been sold out, sadly, and what's worse is that even half of them weren't particularly priced very well, so I had to take no options but to get them right away. However, I was lucky enough to get some other titles, even two titles I haven't even watched, so I figured, why not? I'm going to show you with it right now. And here's the Blu-rays that I just picked up at Target. Yep, all eight of them. <laughs> Hard to believe. Starting with Stranger Things Season 1. Target exclusive that comes in this wonderful BHS packaging right here. Yeah, you can see it all the way around. Now, there's also another edition of this that has the 4K version, which actually has the VHS packaging from CBS Fox, where they just put in the hi-fi stereo on the corner and the wording was in white just to make it for that particular style but this is the one I got from blu-ray and DVD so it's definitely worth it and <laughs> compared to the a VHS tape that I have and this is a movie called The Booze with James Woods and Sean Young this is a very good film by the way a very underrated one now I'm just going to do a comparison. You can pretty much tell that this packaging is oversized compared to this. <laughs> and <laughs> even look at the spine right here. Oh my god. See you can tell how tall this is compared to this tape. Same goes with the back. <laughs> yeah. And forgive me it's all damaged up but what can you do? <laughs> And there's a lot of wear and tears that they put in into the package to almost look like, yeah, that's how VHS were when when it wasn't in perfect condition. 
So I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty rare film. I picked this up at uh, the first store a long time ago. Yeah, it's in good condition, by the way. Just give you an example. Also, I picked up Baby Driver. Yeah, this is a brand new film that I heard a lot of good things about it. It's by Edgar Wright, the same director who gave us Shaun the Dead, Hot Fuzz, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and The World's End. And I guess I can also mention Ant-Man because he also worked on that. Yeah, it has all a wonderful cast and has a lot of great special features. So it's really cool. Um, so I would check this out. And then there's Consco Island. This is a special edition a Target exclusive. And it has the linear, the Lendaker, and exclusive bonus content included. And I love this cover art that, that they chose. It looks really neat. Got all, all the good features here. I really love this movie. I, I had a chance to see it. And I would love to see it again. I also pick up National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I never owned this on Blu-ray, so this is the first. But it's a good thing I picked this up because this came with a slip cover. And it looks really awesome the way they did it. <laughs> it's hologram. And it has exclusive postcards. So this is a Target exclusive of the same Blu-ray release that came out in 2006. So chances are it looks really good for this release. But it's a very awesome Christmas movie. And it's definitely worth watching every Christmas. Especially if you love all the vacation movies, and I definitely do. Yeah. And up here we got Wonder Woman on Blu-ray. It says includes bonus scene not seen in theaters. Yeah, I love this cover art they chose. Yeah, there's several cover arts that they have for this movie, including the 4K version. So no matter what you choose, you get what you got. Yeah, <laughs> looks really neat. And then there's the Lego Batman movie. Definitely pick this up for a good price also. And this is actually cost $6.99 when I picked this up. And I've been wanting to check this out because after all I love Batman and I love the Lego movie. So this would be worth it. I haven't checked out the uh, Lego Ninja Go movie but uh, when it comes out I'll I'll take my chances. But this is actually very good. So I would love to watch this when I get a chance. And then there's Ghost of the Shell. This is the new movie with Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, it's the it's based on the manga. And also the 1995 movie that we had. I really did enjoy this one. Uh didn't understand the controversy this movie have gotten in saying about whitewashing. Well, if you haven't seen uh, Dragon Ball Evolution, then you probably know what whitewashing really is. Because I thought this movie was fine. Um, I thought Scarlett Johansson was perfectly cast as Major Killian. And it definitely has um, a unique feel to it. So, it has a lot of... Um, sort of a metropolis feel to it and a lot of great action that they got and perfectly uh, has a perfect cast right here uh, my only major um, issue with it is that it had a weak villain and maybe it would have done maybe a little bit of, of the the twists better but other than that though I think it's a very underrated movie I should give it a chance because um, I actually watched it, it just looks amazing. And definitely mind blowing right here. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, of course, um, I got Spider Man Homecoming. Yes, the new Spider Man film with Tom Holland. Yeah, the other Tom Holland, not the director as we know. Yeah, I got Iron Man here. And this is, of course, upside down <laughs> for the slipcover. It's really cool that they did that. 
So yeah, there's like tons of features. Okay. Well, now I'm going to get to the ones that I bought at Best Buy. Um, yeah, starting with the Hateful Eight, um, the eighth film by Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, this is a very good film. This was shot in Ultra Panavision 70. Yeah, so this is in 70 millimeter. In film, so it's not digital. And has an all-star cast, which not only includes Samuel Jackson, but also has Kurt Russell, Jennifer Jason Lee, Wilton Goggins, uh, Damien Bashir, Tim Roth, Michael Madsen, Bruce Stern, and even Channing Tatum. <laughs> this is a very good film. I remember it came out two years ago. It had a um, The World Show version that they had uh, that was uh, released in theaters, including the arc lights in Hollywood. It was really cool that for those who have seen this, um, so it would definitely be worth getting it on Blu-ray for that particular style. <laughs> and next I picked up Rise of the Guardians. I did a review on that uh, five years ago. I really enjoyed this movie the same way that I saw it back in theaters. I had the poster for this as well, which I got at the same theater. Yeah, the Regency Ballet, the Regency Plan 16 in Van Nuys. Yeah. Is, and what's really interesting is that they still use the slip cover. But what's interesting was, what's even more interesting is that, believe it or not, and I'm going to try to see if I can take it off. <laughs> has a different cover art so this is actually a repackaged version of the same movie that was released by Fox instead of DreamWorks and Paramount <laughs> so that's really interesting so I'm amazed they, even, they were lucky enough to put this slip cover because some places will just have a different slip cover for this movie but I guess they were lucky enough to find a slip cover for this just to make it more neat. Yeah, either way. And then there's Logan. Picked this up. Looks really cool. I saw this movie in feeders this year. Really enjoyed it. Pretty much a perfect ending to uh, Wolverine. So. And then finally, I got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which I saw last year in feeders had a wonderful time it's a very good film that's uh, part of the the wizard world of Harry Potter so hard to believe because it's supposed to take place uh, before Harry Potter so that's interesting enough and that's all I got I'm happy to own some more blu-rays I wish I had gotten some more titles, though, to make it up for it, but always, well, I, I did the best I could, so I'm happy. So that's all the titles that I picked up for Black Friday, and so far so good, so I can't wait to watch all these movies when I get a chance. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.